Welcome guys to another Peter Films video. Today we're doing the Boston Pork Butt. So let's get started. Okay. So first up, we're going to add, you know, the mustard. A light coating of yellow mustard. And then, just really want to spread that all out through the meat. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the um, a little bit to the fat cap. Now, already this already bought this from the, the seller that it was already trimmed up, so that's good. At a good, it was at a good price. And now, get this all out through the meat and just make sure you get it spread good and okay. evenly. Now, We'll add some of this stuff. Adding the stuff. Now you want to go very heavy on the, um, you want to add it in layers. Because you want to get that good rub, but you don't. Now don't worry, because it's not going to be as salty as the other stuff, guys. And you want to make sure you spread it all around the meat. You want to spread all that seasoning all around the meat. And don't worry if you get dirty, just... Now I added the pan under here so that should help the cleaning process. Remember to get all sides of the meat. Let's turn this thing over. And we're going to marinate this. I'm not grilling it. I'm going to let this marinate overnight so we can get some penetration into deep into the um, into the um, meat. But you don't want to add too much seasoning. Because you want this to be able to um, take in some smoke. So, this should be done. Okay, now, once we get the, once we get, now we already have this um, seasoned. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap, we're going to um, seal it up, wrap it up, or um, you can just put it in a container, and we're going to, let this marinate overnight and you're going to see how much liquefaction is going to be happening. So, now, so right just now, I got me some um, of this vegetable oil and then I got some napkin down there and get rid of light. I got some of my coals and I got me like a snake again. And I'm going to add them on top of it. So, we need just, all we need is Okay, so today, I'm going to light it. And get this thing going. So now we got that lit. Now it's gonna start to catch. Totally you see it. There it's starting to catch. So right now, while we're letting this um, set and start smoking, we're gonna get on with the show with the Boston pork butt. I'm gonna let it sit here and just so you can see for a moment. Just the smoke this thing puts off. As you can see it's smoking already. This all reminds me of the train smoke because it's just dark and black. But, um, yeah, so that's going to continue to smoke up. So right here, we got, um, overnight as well. I also put some hickory chips and stuff. See all the smaller bits are doing floating to the top. And that way, just let them get filled. Just that way they can um, get water penetration through the meat. That way they don't flare up like that. I know the big chunks, there's, not, there's no real point in doing that. But, like... That way, just some of the pieces can get, um, because I don't want them flaring up. Usually, I want to get a nice, full-on smoke. So, yeah, now let's get the meat out. Okay, so right now, we just pulled it out from overnight, so let's get this on the grill. You can see right now, this is about 20 minutes in. After I put it on, this is starting to catch. I put a couple pieces of, um, wood on there. 
So that should be good. I might go ahead and put another piece in there. We'll let just let, and I've divided this right here so you get your cool, you got this um, um, reflecting off the heat from the meat, and then we got the cool zone right here, which is the cooler parts of the meat. A little bit of stuff right there. Won't hurt anything. And we just continue the process. I'll add it some more cool. So this, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, picking it up, but now it's starting to smoke up. So we'll see when it's done. Okay, so I added more charcoal, and then I added some more wood. So let's just put on the cover, and I'll check back with this. In about 45 minutes. Yeah, it's starting to just smoke up. As you can see all the smoke that's coming out just for a good minute. This camera just does not give that grill justice when it's showing all that smoke. Now this is pretty crazy right here. All the smoke that's coming off. Just from this one grill. Yeah, I wish I could close in more of the grill or seal it up so all the, all the smoke wouldn't escape. But I'm using to help that out because a lot of the I'm not getting as much smoke on the meat. I'm using like um, mesquite and oak so I can really get a good penetration into the meat. And but you don't want to oversmoke it. When you do that, you make the taste the um, the meat taste real bitter. But once once the meat gets halfway cooked, it will eventually. Um, once the meat be is half cooked, the um, halfway done, and it gets a nice bark on it, the meat won't take on any more smoke. So you, so then you just want to focus on getting it finished and done. And you, you big, look at these big plumes of smoke. Right now, I just added some more coals and wood. So this thing, the temp needs to rise. After this is probably the last, this is the last time I'm adding wood and coal. So after this is done, then I'm just going to focus on getting the meat finished and cooked. Look well, guys, so far we're um, about a quarter of the way. It's been about three or four, four hours, four to five hours on the meat cooking. And now we're going to make the um, vinegar mop. So what we're going to do now is... We need two lemons, freshly squeezed lemon. We need some red wine vinegar, or any other vinegar, apple cider vinegar will work just as well. And then we're also going to use some McCormick um, cayenne pepper. Let's okay, first step is the red wine vinegar. I'm just going to pour in about somewhere around. Half a cup, so a full cup. There you go. Let's add a little more. There's our red on vinegar. And then we're going to add. Cayenne pepper. Now we're gonna add some cayenne pepper. Take the cap off. There we go. There that should be enough. And now we need to do our lemon. I mean, every once in a while, I'll eat a lemon straight up. Wanna get those 
juices and all these flavors incorporated in this within the sauce and the meat. Next, just give it a good stir. Guys, the flavors mixed in there. You just get a get your brush. Just don't be afraid to get on here and get this meat. It's supposed to make it tender. Going to it's going to add a punch of heat to the meat. And it's going to make it taste really good. So just, this ain't focusing in as I want it to. And just add some more of that meat. Keep it going. And that should be good. We're gonna recover the we're gonna cover this all up and come back in about 45 minutes and just put some brown sugar and stuff in there and we'll get it. Um, we're gonna use all brown sugar today, so don't worry about putting on too much. And this is gonna give that um that butt roast some good because I'm making some four pork sandwiches too. So it's gonna make it give it some good sugar sugariness. Okay, and we're gonna add a little butter. We're gonna add some butter. Then we add some money. Money for the honey. As Malcolm Reed says, money for the honey. Just gonna get that in there. Now, and then we're gonna add the pork butt. On there. Now it's just going to, then it's going to get a marinade all in its spices and glory. Then we're going to add a little bit more right here. The fat side, we'll get all these flavors in here with the meat. One hand does the Pouring one hand as the rubbing that way. Yeah, we we'll gonna get the Add some butter. After that, I'll add some more honey. Honey for the money. There we go. Got all the honey. Now we're gonna begin to wrap this up. And we're gonna double wrap it because obviously we didn't add enough aluminum foil. I'll get it back when it's wrapped. Um, I have the meat, I have the meat thermometer in. It is currently, um, it is currently, let me see this, I have to take it out and see it. Right now it's 153, I know it's pretty cold um, inside. So I'm going uh, to have it connected to there. And I wrapped it up, so we're going to leave it here for a good hour or so. And we, I, have a, I moved the coal so they're right under there. And we need to get that nice big, we need that to heat up, okay? So, we'll just, the cooking process continues. So right now, 
we are I'm getting ready to check the Boston pork butt it's been about an hour now so right earlier by about 10 minutes going on the meat started the salt we didn't put enough aluminum foil so it got to the coals and they started to catch but they didn't none of the stuff burned and only just a little bit of the sauce burned that was all so we just wrapped it up a couple more times and it's been no more problems so right now we're just going to open up the um cover and just see how's it going right now there's a little bit of steam coming out from the top right here it's doing pretty good i know i wasn't able to get it all wrapped up i mean it's going to have there's a lot of bubbles and air pockets in there so i don't know if the bark will i mean there never was a big thick bark and i'm i'm fine with that but um yeah so it'll the meat it's been cooking everything around here boy is just hot so whatever i touch this i've been running this right now it's currently almost 4 30 and i've been running this since eight o'clock so i think i'm going to leave it on here for about uh let's say another 30 minutes and then it should be done i mean I just need to get the internal temp up. Right now, that just says hi, and I'm gonna take this thing out because I don't think we need it anymore. But um, yeah. So all we gotta do is just cover the rest of it back up and just let it steam. Continue. I'm just gonna wrap it up and let it rest because this thing I think is done. So yeah, wrap it up and just let it cure for about 30 minutes. Just, just wrap it up real good and tight and we'll check on it and it'll be ready to serve in about 30 minutes. Here's what I'm going to do with the meat. I'm going to probably make poured pork sandwiches and I'm, we'll have coleslaw, a Carolina style and put some of that vinegar on there and I'm also going to put on I'm also just going to cut it in the hat and like little pieces of meat and um, yeah and I can you can freeze it as well Store it for later. I don't know if you've been like in soup, so I know you can ground it up and other things. So let's see what it's like after 30 after minutes. A moment of frustration. We finally got all the stuff. Um, we got all the meat chucked. I mean, pulled. We put. We used half of it for a meat. We gave some a couple of this to some of our friends. Um, and we have sliced the other half and we let it cool in the refrigerator for other sandwiches. And, just, and we put coleslaw. Have it. And then like, if you want to use like the meat, you can make like, we made, right now we made like Carolina bar, um, Carolina um, pulled pork sandwiches. You just get buns and you just get that pulled pork sauce, mix a little bit of sweet baby rays with some white, red wine vinegar, get that like vinegar style North Carolina barbecue sauce. And um, you just put some coleslaw on it, and you're talking about good, good sandwiches. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and if you want to, I'll let you decide what the next video should be on. Okay, in the comments below, or go on my website. I'll have a poll to see what things I should cook next. So thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Bye.